If you've heard of Greg Oden, it likely wasn't for the best of reasons. The big man is regarded as one of the all-time great draft busts, as he was drafted first overall in the 2007 NBA draft and only played around 100 games during his career. However, there was a time when Odin was regarded as a potential superstar and a generational talent at the center position. So what went wrong for Greg Odin, and what caused his career to go so off track? Welcome back to the channel for all things pro sports. As always, keep it locked in right here to find out all of the details. And by the way, don't forget that once we reach 50,000 subs, we're giving away a PS5 or Xbox One with a copy of NBA 2K22. All you have to do to be entered to win is like, subscribe, comment, and turn on post notifications. Greg Oden grew up in Terre Haute, Indiana, but later moved to the Indianapolis area where he would attend Lawrence North High School. In the basketball craze state of Indiana, Oden blossomed into a bona fide star. Playing alongside future NBA guard Mike Conley, he was still the leader of the Lawrence North squad. Together with Conley, he led the team to three consecutive state championships in his sophomore, junior, and senior years. Not only that, but he was twice named the Gatorade National Boys Basketball Player of the Year in 2005 and 2006, named Indiana's Mr. Basketball in his senior year, and named to the McDonald's All-American team. Now, with such illustrious accolades being given to him, it was fair to say that he was a coveted recruit. However, both him and his teammate Conley decided to stay relatively close to home and attend Ohio State University in Columbus, Ohio. Odin was sidelined for the beginning of his first year at Ohio State due to a wrist injury that he picked up during Lawrence North's title run in his senior year. However, that didn't stop Ohio State from picking up all of the steam on the hype train. They were ranked in the top spot in the nation for some of Odin's absence and would remain a top team throughout the season. Odin returned in December of 2006 and immediately made his presence known. Standing 7 feet tall and weighing a substantial 250 pounds during his time in Columbus, Odin's skill set was still reminiscent of NBA great Bill Russell. That is, he essentially controlled the paint. Now, like Russell, he was an exceptional defensive player in terms of contesting shots, blocking shots, and rebounding, but he also added an inside offensive game that was truly special. Throughout the regular season at Ohio State in 2006-2007, he put up strong numbers to support his case, averaging 15.7 points, 9.6 rebounds, and 3.3 blocks per game. Ohio State barreled its way into the NCAA tournament, ready to try and bring home another title for the trophy case. Now, Odin was a key player for the Buckeyes again through March Madness. He led the number one seed Buckeyes through a difficult tournament run, which included an overtime win versus Xavier, and a tight win against number five seeded Tennessee, in which Odin came up with a game saving block. Odin did struggle with fouls throughout the tournament as his physical inside play caught up with him, but he still contributed with his strong interior play as Ohio State advanced to the championship game. In a title matchup with Florida, which featured future NBA big men like Al Horford and Corey Brewer, Odin had a special showing. Odin contributed 25 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 blocks to the cause, but the Buckeyes ultimately fell to Florida, unable to complete their title run. Odin's draft hype was only stoked by the performance that he turned in against Florida. An EntertainmentInsider.com article summarized the feelings of many around the basketball world, saying, he was simply a dominating figure. He had a soft shooting touch, could clog up the middle and block shots, and he was as intimidating of a player as there had been in recent memory. Now, with dreams of a dominant interior player fresh in their minds, NBA teams were clamoring to draft the heralded big man. The Portland Trail Blazers ended up being the fortunate team to draft Odin first overall in the 2007 NBA Draft. The Blazers seemed close to returning to the playoffs and felt that a big man could help to complement the existing talent which included Brandon Roy and a young LaMarcus Aldridge. However, Odin's NBA career started to get sidetracked before it even began. In September of 2007, Odin had microfracture surgery on his right knee. This surgery is one that has affected many NBA players and carries with it varying recovery times. However, the Blazers decided to play it safe and sit Odin for the entire 2007-2008 season. There was still plenty of optimism surrounding the young player despite the setback. Still considered a rookie at the start of the 2008-2009 season due to not playing in any games during his first year, Odin was no doubt a favorite for the Rookie of the Year award. However, he would again struggle with a new problem, 
This time, it was his weight. While he was listed at 250 pounds during his time at Ohio State, he ballooned up to 290 pounds while rehabbing his knee injury. It is no secret that heavyweight and lower body injuries are not the best of friends, so this was obviously a significant cause for concern. In fact, Odin ended up with a foot injury only 13 minutes into his NBA debut, and he went on to miss several more weeks. Despite all of this, Odin would play about three-fourths of the 2008-2009 season, only missing additional time due to an injury to his left knee. While his scoring wasn't quite as high as he had shown in college, he did display the exceptional defensive ability that he was known for throughout his previous years. As a sturdy interior defender, rebounder, and shot blocker, he certainly showed serious potential. Going into the 2009-2010 season, Odin had gotten all of the hype back from his entry into the league. He was even invited to a USA Basketball minicamp event in summer of 2009 where he shut down strong interior players like JaVale McGee, Zach Randolph, Brooke Lopez, and Paul Millsap. Jerry Colangelo, the managing director of USA Basketball, even said that Odin had a future in the NBA and maybe a future with us on the USA Olympic squad. Overshadowed in terms of attention only by Kevin Durant, who was drafted with the pick following Odin in the 2007 NBA draft, at the USA minicamp, Odin got a lot of positive press in the following weeks leading up to the season. However, the 2009-2010 season didn't turn out to be the comeback tour that many hoped it would be for Odin. He did show off his scoring, rebounding, and defensive abilities early in the season, but he ended up injuring his left knee in a December 2009 game. As a result, Odin would go on to miss a large portion of the season due to the surgery that he had on his patella. Even after all of this, there was still hope for Odin. A 2010 Bleacher Report article even claims that Odin could still grow to be a top 5 center in the NBA. In this article, it was asserted that he believes that Odin will be one of the most improved players in the league who will get 15 points, 11 boards, and 3 blocks per game in the 2010-2011 season. The Blazers need him to be this good, and he will be. That's the only way they will become strong title contenders. Obviously, there was still some strong belief in Odin. It is safe to say that this article was way off. In fact, Odin wouldn't even come close to reaching those numbers, mainly because he didn't play a single game in the 2010-2011 season. Again, he underwent microfracture surgery, this time to his left knee. In 2011, it was the same story again. This time, a setback kept Odin from joining the team to start the year, and he would end up missing the entire season again due to an arthroscopic surgery on his right knee, as well as yet another microfracture surgery to his left knee. The Blazers finally had enough in March of 2012 and released their former top draft pick. He had played only 82 games for the franchise over five seasons. Odin sat out yet another year in 2012-2013 to rehab his injuries, but made yet another comeback in 2013-2014 to join the Miami Heat. Though he only played in 23 games, he avoided a major injury and contributed off the bench to the Heat's playoff run to the NBA Finals, where they lost to the San Antonio Spurs. Sadly, this would mark the last time that Odin played in the NBA. Since he last played in the NBA, Odin has stayed active in other basketball leagues, which includes a productive 25-game stretch with the Jiangsu Dragons of the Chinese Basketball Association, a short time in the basketball tournament on a team with another Ohio State alumni, and a somewhat recent stint in the 3-on-3 basketball league Big 3. Nowadays, however, Odin is a graduate assistant at his alma mater, where he returned to get his bachelor's degree in 2019. So what happened to Greg Odin? Well, obviously the main answer is knee injuries. When he was on the court, Odin still inspired basketball lovers to dream about his great potential. However, that just happened much too sparingly for his career to really ever get off the ground. No doubt his great size contributed to these injuries, but to some extent, that's just a part of life in the NBA as a big man of such stature. What's really interesting to note about Greg Odin is the draft that surrounded him. Yes, Odin is often considered a draft bust and for good reason considering the fact that he just didn't play much at an NBA level. However, this is only amplified by the fact that several solid NBA starters were drafted immediately after him in 2007, including former teammate Mike Conley, fellow center Al Horford, and all-time great scorer Kevin Durant. While it's not fair to compare Odin to these players straight up, the fact that Portland missed out on drafting any of these players only makes the Blazers' five-year debacle with Odin even more painful to remember. And I'm not just talking about the knee pain. 
So what do you think about Greg Oden? Could he have been an NBA star if he had been able to avoid his persistent knee issues? Do you think that any current NBA players are at risk to suffer the same fate as Odin? Be sure to leave us a comment and make sure that you like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you can watch all of our latest NBA content updates as soon as they drop. We'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.